Hey everyone, Rayo here and welcome back to Reckless Ranger. In this series, we are focused on getting best in slot range gear, becoming as best as we possibly can with the range style, as well as getting PRs on all available bosses to us, which is virtually every single boss. So if you enjoy this series, make sure to leave a like on this video, drop a comment down below, and subscribe to the channel for new releases. If you want to catch any of my progress live, make sure to follow me over on Twitch as I stream a couple times a week. The link to my Twitch is in the video description. But without further ado, let's get into it. So as we left off in episode four, we finished off by buying the Darkbow EOF. So the whole focus of this episode is going to be testing out the Darkbow EOF and seeing how it fits into our rotation, grinding out some PRs and just kind of getting used to using it for the most part. So we are also going to start using Hydrix bolts as well. So that's going to be another expense. It is going to be a worthwhile expense because if we have more adrenaline and that's more dark bow uses that we can get out of a dark bow EOF within our death swiftness. We're probably going to start off on God Wars Dungeon 2 bosses like we typically did in the Maxing Melee series whenever we got a new unlock because that is pretty low intensity but it is a real scenario where there's a little bit of mechanics to deal with and it will reward us for our time so we'll probably take this to Vindicta, Hellweir, something kind of simple and straightforward that way we're not just punching a dummy and then after that we'll probably take it into some elite dungeons next Raksha and whatever's on the table our big grind right now is Greco so I imagine we'll be doing quite a bit of Raksha but let's get into the content all right, so first things first, um, I logged in to see that I was using the sword crossbow combo. So I guess you could say that I am a stake master. I also wanted to mention, I know that I've been saying Gricko wrong this whole entire time. I promise I will do my best to say it correctly from here on out, but I'm going to miss say it a ton. So I ask that you are patient with me in the future. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump on into some God Wars Dungeon 2. I want to do some Vindy because one... It's just an easier boss to do. It's either Vindy or Hellweir typically are easier to do, but there's not a lot of movement in Vindy if I can phase before the fires, which I've been able to do without the Dark Boat EOF, and I imagine that'll get just a little bit easier with the Dark Boat EOF. And then secondly, I still need Aftershock. So if by chance I can get some lances or crests to level up some gear for some Ilujankin components, all that will save me some major money in the end. So let's go ahead and jump on into Vindicta. All oh, right, 37.8. That's a pretty decent, pretty decent kill so far. There's a lot of mess ups there with like a weird start. I didn't grab target right away, but um, I think I could get that down a little bit better. All right, so I've updated the preset to include the Reaver's Ring and also some Blood Bolts. I don't know exactly how I'm going to use these because I've kind of heard some mixed opinions on how to use Blood Bolts and how to use Hydrix Bolts. I also don't have Gryco, so I feel like a majority of the cases, Hydrix bolts are going to be better for me right now due to the lack of adrenaline. But when I get Gryco, I think it's going to make a lot more sense to swap bolts. But there are some times where I do get a Relentless proc. So I think Ruby bolts would be a little bit better to use over Hydrix and stuff like Snapshot or for Rapid Fire. I also think I said Blood Bolts, which <laughs> that's another thing that I'm, <laughs> I miss say all the time. <laughs> so whenever I say Blood Bolts, know that I'm talking about Ruby bolts. Thirty five point four, not too shabby. I just uh, made myself sign. <laughs> I did not did not expect to do that at all. So something I'm kind of noticing here, I 
this might just be because I don't have Gricko yet, but I'm noticing that it is kind of less consistent than melee is in terms of adrenaline gain, which affects my rotation, such as doing Darkbow EOF specs. A lot of the damage is coming from the Darkbow EOF, so if I get a Relentless proc, that helps out a ton, but if I don't, then it is is very heavily dependent on the Hydrix Bolts proccing, which would give me plenty of adrenaline. And I need quite a few procs, like maybe like two or three during a single rapid fire to get enough for maybe a second or third debo during a DS. I rarely get a third debo in during my death swiftness. So it is kind of a challenge to get consistent, decent times. I don't want to say consistent times because they are fairly consistent, but when it comes to like getting consistent good times or like consistent best times, it's a little bit harder to do that with my current setup than it is to do with melee in general, just because the adrenaline gain there is always there when you have bleeds on your target it's a lot more consistent hopefully i can get a little bit more of an idea of how to make it a little bit more streamlined between each pool because with it being as inconsistent as it is with the adrenaline gain it's kind of hard to figure out what exactly i should do for a rotation it's a lot of like situational stuff so if i have a lot of adrenaline use bolts use this skill blah blah blah, blah. so still trying to figure that out exactly and it's also a little bit more difficult on shorter burst fights like this whereas with melee it pretty much all fits into a zerk rotation whereas here it can can be done by the DS or it won't be done by the DS. So it might take us a little bit to kind of get something down. So after a few tries from my previous little mention, I am starting to notice consistency in the beginning of the rotation. And that is kind of helping me a little bit because I know that I can rely on that build up every single time I go into a burst and I've been reliably getting to the fire skip either reliably getting to the fire skip or phasing Vindicta as soon as the fire line spawns. So that is helping quite a bit. And my phase two just seems to be very, very consistent. Like it's as soon as she jumps, then she's dead. So that is, that's helping quite a bit, but I still need to get the overall phase a little bit more consistent so I can get a reduced time. Oh my gosh. I'm such a dingus. I just, I just realized that there's been so many times that I could use Darkbow EOF earlier because I forget that the Ring of Path, the <laughs> I forget that the Ring of Vigor makes it so that it doesn't reduce the cost in the description right here, but I could actually use this at 58.5% adrenaline as opposed to 65. And I've always been waiting for 65% adrenaline. So I've been missing out on so many Darkbow EOF frogs. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to make a major difference in this, but oh my gosh, dude, that's going to help out a ton. All right, so that hour was pretty all right, I would say. It was, um, it's not as fast as I would like it to be, but I mean, it is pretty decent for what I have right now. I think my best was about 34, somewhere between 34 and 38, I can't exactly remember, but I think... The main holdup here is the amount of adrenaline I have for using Dark Bow EOF. So when I get a Gricko, I think that's going to make a massive difference. So let's go ahead and try this out at other bosses. Oh, yes, dude. Yes, dude. Yes, 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 yes. Heck yeah, bro. Oh my gosh. Yes, dude. <laughs> Heck yeah, bro. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's sick. Oh, heck yeah, bro. 34. 34 ancient scales. That's good, bro. And 32 reaper points. Heck yeah, dude. No way. No. Oh my gosh, dude. Yes. <laughs> dude, we... <laughs> Yo, yes. Yo, we got some. Oh my gosh. We just got... <laughs> Hernix chaps, bro. Yes, dude. Oh man. All right. This deserves, this deserves some pings for Calvin. Oh, heck yeah, dude. <laughs> yes, dude. Yes, 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 yes. Nice, bro. Nice, nice, nice. So I tried the dark bow EOF at next quite a bit. And I will be honest, I didn't notice a huge difference, but for this kill that you're watching right now, I didn't have my recording software to record for the full kill, but the only part that I really missed was the phase one, and it hasn't really influenced my phase one. The main part that it really influenced is phasing during blood phase.
So to kind of explain what happens during blood phase is I will typically, I'll throw a Vol bomb, use the Ancient Elven Ritual Shard and Enhanced Excalibur for some healing and prayer restore. And when Nex is kind of on her third-ish animation while she's raising her arms and her wings, that's when I'll channel Snipe. That way, as soon as she's done siphoning, it'll release Snipe. I can rapid fire. And at the end of rapid fire, I would typically do a snapshot. And if I needed to do more, I would typically do a needle strike into a bombardment or a tendrils. But here's where the Dark Boat EOF helps out. If I can do a Dark Boat EOF and I have a little bit of RNG on my side, I can actually skip the snapshot, needle strike, and bombardment and just do a Dark Boat EOF. The end result is time saved at the cost of a lot more adrenaline, but with this time saved, it allows me to phase next before she channels Blood Sacrifice, which typically can allow me enough time to phase down Crew War, where I can phase next into Ice Phase on Contain This as opposed to the Ice Prison mechanic. Oh, that's a new PR there, 226.4, heck yeah. All right, so after Nex and some Vindicta, I definitely want to try this out at Raksha and see how I do there. I've done Raksha a little bit with Debo so far, but I haven't done it since I realized that I could actually use Debo a little bit earlier than I thought I could. So I imagine this will go a little bit different. I don't think my kill times are going to be massively increased or decreased, but I think it'll be a little bit smoother with the EOF. So let's give this a shot and see how we do. So my best with a Reckless Aura is about the 440 that I got a little bit ago, but I have not done much with the Inspiration Aura. I know that the Inspiration Aura can make your adrenaline gain quite a bit better. My only concern is the amount of accuracy that I'll have against Raksha. I don't think it's going to be the biggest deal in the world because from what I understand, Raksha has a pretty high range affinity. I don't know how that's actually going to translate to what I'm currently using, but I have inspiration ready to go. So there's no harm in giving it a shot. So let's see how we do. All right. First kill thoughts. I would say that it was slower. Like it was a 508. If there was a way to get 100% accuracy, no doubt my kill times would be so much faster because the amount of adrenaline gain that I'm getting from that is just massive. Oh, heck yeah, dude. Yes, dude. We skipped the mine bomb, whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. Too much going on.
now that I've done multiple hours with the Reckless Aura and a full hour with the Inspiration Aura, I would say that out of both of those auras, I would much prefer to use Inspiration. There's RNG with using both auras. The RNG of using the Reckless Aura is the amount of adrenaline you gain because you're just relying on the Hydrix Bolt procs. Whereas with Inspiration, the RNG is that you don't have 100% accuracy, so occasionally you do miss. And unfortunately, sometimes that is your Dark Bow spec. That being said though, I would much prefer to deal with the RNG of the occasional miss because if I'm relying on a little bit of RNG between both, I would much rather have a consistent rotation to deal with with because a lot of the times when using reckless I have close to no adrenaline when going into a rock fault phase which is a major part of the Raksha fight because you can get ahead on the next phase. My phases one through three on Raksha are so much more consistent with inspiration. It kind of falls off in phase four, but I'm also just not the best at phase four when it comes to using ranged. So that's always where I kind of fall off in the Raksha fight in general. So inspiration, I could probably surpass that 440 PR. Now when it comes to increasing my accuracy, the options there would be to either get the tier 99 curse or the tier 92 blight bounce, which neither are on my list until I get Gricko. The other option is to get Gricko and use Reckless because if I use Gricko, then Bolt procs with Gricko are a pretty massive improvement to your rotation and it could virtually make it so Inspiration is just not really worth using. I don't have Gricko. I've never, well, I do have Gricko. I just, as I've mentioned previously in the series, I can't use it until I re-unlock it. I've never used it before. So I don't really know how strong it is. I know you get Chroming 4 to go with it. And I know that the Bolt procs with Gricko are insanely strong. I don't really know how strong that is. I don't have that hands-on experience. My next video is just diving deep into grinding out some drops so we can get our Gricko unlock so we can finally start doing some solid rotations, getting some solid PRs, and just taking on harder content way more consistently. And that's all I have for you today, guys. My overall thoughts on the Dark Bow EOF is that it's really strong, assuming that you have the adrenaline. In general, range seems to be pretty heavily reliant on bolt procs, and one of the more important bolt effects are the Hydrix bolts for the sake of adrenaline gain. When the proc happens, they're great, but I don't have that many multi-hit abilities available to me just yet to stack these bolt proc chances. This is why in our next episode, we will be grinding until Gricko. Until then, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a like and drop a comment down below and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. I also stream my progress over on Twitch and you can find the link to follow in the video description. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Rayo and I'll see you next time. Take care.